the beauty about the new Toyota Glanza is that it's got a lot of features, both external and interior features, which are new, and it's got a lot of connected features. But what stands out remarkably beautiful is that it's got what's known as an HUD or head-up display. Now, for a car in this segment to have an HUD is something amazing. Let me tell you, the, the screen up front displays a whole lot of features, and in order to see that, or go through that, you don't have to take your eyes off the road. For example, if you are on a road and you want to make sure your car is going at a particular speed limit, well under the prescribed speed limit. Now, what you do in that circumstances is that you take your eyes off the road and you get to see the dial on the instrument cluster. Now, that's a distraction. But in the case of this new Glanza, there is no such worry because you are seeing your head-up display, which is there on your line of vision, and you, without distracting yourself or taking your eyes off the road, you can see it and read the information out there. Now, this is a great safety feature, a very welcome feature uh, for a car in this segment. Thumbs up to Toyota Kirloska. There's nothing like being inside a car with an air conditioner that works perfectly. Welcome to the Motown India Show. My name is Roy P. Tharian. I'm inside the new Glanza from Toyota Kirloskar. Well, basically it's the Bellino, but then you must be wondering what's this entire deal about? Let me just ponder over the sales figures of May this year. In May 2022, Toyota Kirloskar sold around 10,000 odd vehicles in the Indian market. Out of that, 3,000 odd vehicles were the Urban Cruiser, which is basically the uh, Brezza from the Maruti stable. And it sold around 3,000 units of uh, the Glanza, which is again, the Bellino from the Maruti stable. So you must be wondering, almost 60% of the sales have come from the Maruti Suzuki stable. What does it mean? It means a great yarana between Maruti Suzuki and Toyota. Yes, these two big companies had entered into a strategic alliance a long time back. They promised that they would sell few of their cars from each other's tables. And to begin with, the Glanza and the Urban Cruisers are the ones which Toyota Kirloskar is selling in this country. Very soon, you may just have a Toyota brand being sold uh, under a Maruti brand, like the way the Glanza is being sold. So coming back to this Glanza, I must tell that I was impressed with the Bellino, so I have to be impressed with the Glanza. It's a very practical car. It's a very roomy car. There are three things which have really impressed me about this car. One which I didn't mention is the HUD, the head-up display, which is a great safety feature. You get information on the speed, the, uh, the time and RPM levels. So it's amazingly great in the sense that you don't have to compromise on any kind of safety. Uh, so you can drive comfortably. The second lovely thing I like about this car is the cavernous boot space. It's quite large, it's quite deep. In fact, it's the best among the hatches available in India. You can keep a huge suitcase, a couple of them in fact, and it's large, it's deep. Number three, which I love about this car is the engine area, which many of you really don't give a second glance. When you open the bonnet, you realize the engine looks very compact and good, but what is beneath it is quite amazing. In fact, it's well insulated. Uh, it, it keeps the engine away from all the dirt and water hitting it from the uh, underside, especially from the front tires. And it's quite neat, well packed, and all kudos to Toyota Kirloskar and of course, eventually to Maruti Suzuki. Uh, it's a great job done. Let's now just quickly go through the other features of this car, both exterior and interior. Stay tuned. The Toyota Glancer comes in variants like E, S, G and V. The V being the top variant. We got the V variant. The hatchback is powered by a 1197cc 
four-cylinder petrol engine that produces a peak power of 89 PS at around 6,000 RPM and a peak torque of 113 Newton meters at around 4,400 RPM. We got the model with manual transmission which gives an official fuel efficiency of 22.35 km per litre. The AMT gives a fraction more. The Glancer has a length into width into height of 3990mm, 1745mm into 1500mm and a wheelbase of around 2520mm. The Glancer gets an idle start stop feature for all its variants. Coming to the exterior, very much like the Bellino, the Glancer 2 gets LED projector headlamps with DRLs, auto ORVMs with turn indicators and LED tail lamps. But what it gets different are the wide horizontal chrome bar, the Toyota signature and upper grille and a large trapezoidal lower grille with carbon fiber texture. Coming to the interior, it is pleasing and it's got a dual tone. It gets a 9 inches smart play screen with in-card technology that includes voice assist with Hey Toyota, HUD like I already mentioned, 360 degree view, 45 plus features through phone apps that includes remote check and control doors, odometer, headlamps, hazard lights, distance to empty, find my car, vehicle health report besides smartwatch connectivity etc. You also get a steering with a tilt and telescopic feature as well as steering mounted audio controls. Other features include footwell lamp, auto AC, rear AC vents, push start, rear USB etc. With a suspension comprising of McPherson strut in front and torsion beam at rear, the car lets you experience a comfortable drive. The disc brakes in front and drum at the rear ensure adequate braking power. The reason why the Glancer car is doing so well in the market is that it's got the Maruti Suzuki DNA. And pray, what is this DNA? It's all about offering the right features at the right cost. It's a company that believes in serving it right and not overdoing it like so many other manufacturers. Toyota Kirloskar is simply reaping the benefits of this proven DNA. Should I call that basking in reflected glory?